This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hey, good evening everyone. I'm Whitney Clark. Here are the latest stories we are following this Saturday from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. An armed robbery turned into an hours long standoff in Peoria this morning. It happened in a neighborhood near 91st Avenue and Bell Road. Video shows a man and a woman surrendering to police. Now we're told the pair pointed a gun at someone inside of a gas station early this morning near 75th Avenue and Camelback Road. The victim helped police track down the couple. The suspects finally came out after hours. Their names and charges have not yet been released. Police arrested this man in connection to the murder of a 68 year old grandmother in Apache Junction. Jay Hungerford is accused of attacking Joan Siren at her apartment complex near Ironwood Drive in Broadway on Thursday. Police say the attack appears to be unprovoked and Hungerford is now faced uh, charged with second degree murder and aggravated assault. Arizonans are asking how the president appoints a new Supreme Court justice after the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg yesterday. The president will select a nominee who needs to be confirmed by the Senate. Right now, that's held with a Republican majority. There's usually some sort of confirmation hearing for each nominee before the Senate confirms the president's choice. Now, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has already made it clear he's ready to get the ball moving on her replacement and throwing uh, her support behind the idea that that idea is Arizona Senator Martha McSally, who tweeted this U.S. Senate should vote on the nominee. Rather, that is the tweet from Senator Martha McSally. Well, new coronavirus numbers for you this Saturday night. The state health department is reporting the lowest number of COVID-19 patients in Arizona hospitals since April. People in the ICU, ER and on ventilators are the lowest levels. The department is adding an additional 16 coronavirus related deaths and 610 new coronavirus cases. The weekly percent positivity rate is holding at 4%. And here's a look at your forecast. We've got a high of 105 for your Sunday, about 103 to 105 really throughout the new week ahead. No rain in sight, but fall officially begins on Tuesday. All right, thank you so much for that, April. And for updates on more stories throughout the evening, you can always download the Arizona's Family News app and check out our app on your Roku device. I'm Whitney Clark. Have a great night.